each morning this week that we've been focusing on a different impact this shutdown would have on you. Abby Larico joins us now in the newsroom to verify what a shutdown could mean here in our region and, and how are district tourism officials, uh, how are they trying to stay ahead of it? Abby, good morning. Hey, Wisdom, good morning. So even if the government shuts down, the tourism officials at Destination DC want to remind visitors that the nation's capital is open. Events, private museums, restaurants, all ready to greet some of the more than 20 million people who visit here each year. But all the free stuff that comes with being the seat of the federal government is, of course, a big draw. The Smithsonian Museums and Zoo, the National Monuments and Memorials. So are they in danger of closing in case of a shutdown? We checked with the Smithsonian and the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget to verify yes. That's because in a shutdown, federal agencies must discontinue all non-essential functions until a new funding agreement is passed. Smithsonian institutions are federally funded, so if no budget deal is made to keep them open by Saturday at midnight, they'd have to close to the public. Even the panda cam and other live animal video streams would be cut off. You may recall this from the last shutdown back in 2018 2019. But don't worry, someone will be keeping an eye out. This document outlines Smithsonian's shutdown contingency plans and lists employees who will stay on the job, including those, quote, responsible for the care, custody, and protection of the national collections, including animals, archival materials, and libraries. Another big draw to DC for many people from around the world are attractions managed by the National Park Service. In previous shutdowns, we've seen some attractions actually barricaded off from visitors or services disruptive. But we've also seen attractions operating pretty much business as usual. So we'll have to watch and see what specific locations do if this weekend comes and goes with no budget agreement. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico. All right, thank you, Abby, for all of your coverage on this potential shutdown. Just text the word shutdown to 202 895-5599 or grab your phone and scan the QR code right there on your screen.